Hi, it's Susie with Creative Cafe again, and this is going to be part two. I run out of time, so I'll have to finish this in in this uh, uh, video. So here we have, we just um, put this flap on, we just punched our hole. Now we're going to insert a piece here to um, coordinate with the top and kind of just give it that nice little look here where we've punched that half circle out. So what I do is I simply cut this about 3 inches by uh, 5 and 7 eighths. I want it a little bit smaller than the 6 inch so it will slide in easy. And then what I do is I use a glue stick because it's just so much easier to slide uh, that in and kind of move it around with a glue stick than if you used uh, adhesive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply insert this in here and I kind of just really uh, butt it up to the end here and I should have brought that down just a hair this here but um, anyway that's what I do and then what it does is just give it that nice finished look there. Um, then I added this flap and all I did was figure out what size that I wanted this flap to be and then I simply cut it a half inch larger. I'm going to use this little one as an example. I just um, scored it, I mean, a half inch um, longer, uh, measured it a half inch longer, scored it at that half inch, and then what I did was I simply, on the, on the side that you're not going to use, you just simply want to run you, and I use sticky strips, I just like that extra hold, and then um, just place it and then uh, like so and then if you want two flaps it's really easy to do that uh, if you want one flap then just measure what you want a half inch more score it on that half inch line and then just simply take it and uh, I use sticky strip and adhere it to the back page then I'm going to take this 6 by 9 piece here and cover the back of the envelope so just use your adhesive and simply attach it and this should actually come and just pretty much cover get myself stuck here should just pretty much cover the whole thing there even where you've added your little your little piece here so so then this is your back side of your envelope then all you have to do is embellish and anyway that will be your envelope then you want to take your piece that you have made and you're just simply going to attach this to your first first little inch and a fourth your first little inch and a fourth piece and my covers if they were attached wouldn't be moving there so Anyway, and then that is what it's going to look like. And then it can just kind of stand up. These um, clips that I have holding on, because I do, even though my front cover and my back cover are attached, I go ahead and put a clip on there to just kind of even it out when it's standing up. And uh, I stagger them. I might turn my first one this way, and then on my next page, if I had a page here, I will just simply turn it the other way. So that it kind of staggers, move that out of the way and you can see, kind of staggers them so that uh, they're just not butted up against each other and making it hard to, to uh, close if you wanted to close it. So anyway, um, if I went too fast and I didn't get the measurements on here good, I will have the measurements on my blog. My blog will be uh, in the description below the video so you can just go over there and get the measurements if you need to. Uh, thanks so much for watching.